Hey guys, welcome to my channel Learn with Hina. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe and you can follow me on an academy. So today's video is about organizing. We will be discussing organizing and with this I have completed our business management and HRM PDF number 2. I will share it after this video. So please do watch the video and comment and like the video. So organizing kya hota hai? Organizing is that managerial process which seeks to define the role of each individual. It may be manager and operator towards the attainment of enterprise objectives with due regards to establishing authority, responsibility, relationship among all and providing for coordination in the enterprise as an inbuilt device for obtaining harmonious group action. So organizing kya rata hai? It is basically a managerial process where you have different roles, different people and you assign them to them and then you have to group them and then you try to achieve the objectives. So organizing is that managerial process which seeks to define the role of each individual towards the attainment of what enterprises objectives. A definition is that Kuntz and Donald has given it. Organizing is the establishment of authority relationship with provision for coordination between them both vertically and horizontally in the what enterprise structure. So I hope organizing का मतलब तो समझ में आ गया होगा यार basically यहाँ पे क्या होता है grouping of people होता है individual होता है और फिर उस हिसाब से साथ में काम किया जाता है. सबसे पहला आता है determination of the total workload. The very first step in the process of organizing is to make a determination of all the activities which are necessary to be undertaken for the attainment of the enterprise objectives. This step of organizing is in fact nothing but an estimation of the total workload that must be done for realizing objectives. So, what is this? 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 Grouping and subgrouping of activities. Total activities determined for achievement, achieving enterprise objectives, must be classified. That is putting similar or related activities at one place in the form of group or subgroup. जो भी similar activities हैं उन्हें एक साथ लेके आना और group करना फिर बाद में काम करना. This step of organizing directly leads to the process of creating departments. If an enterprise is compared to a building, then uh, the creation of the department within it which amount to the construction of rooms within the building each room meant for a specified special purpose so jiska lena dena jiske saath mein hai usko uske saath group karke kaam karte hai creation of managership to delegation of authority ya pe delegate bhi hoti hai so ye delegation authority kya hoti hai centralization decentralization ये सब चीजें मैं आपको आज अन अकेडमी के ऊपर करवाने वाली हूँ तो याद से वीडियो जरूर देख लेना आफ्टर द स्कीम ऑफ डिपार्टमेंटलाइजेशन इज फाइनलाइज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग वुड बी टू एंट्रोस द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ईच डिपार्टमेंट टू डिस्टिंग मैनेजर क्रिएटर क्रिएशन ऑफ द मैनेजरशिप इन दिस मैनर रिक्वायर्स अ रिक्वेस्ट डेलीगेशन ऑफ अथॉरिटी to each manager to enable the manager to take care of the job assigned to it. But if the job has been given and dedicated, he will do it properly. Next, you have a division of work within the departmental set of human organization. Since no single individual can undertake the performance of the whole of the work assigned to one department, it becomes necessary to resort to the division of work assigning to each person only on the one part of the total job. So, what do you think about division of work? Department ke hisab se hota hai yaa pe. Next aata hai, arrangement of physical facility to personal with the departmental set of material organization. Each individual of the enterprise working in whatever capacity in any department must need the physical, basic physical facility, raw materials, machines and tools, technologies and other inputs 
for the proper execution of the assigned work. तो जो भी उन्हें work assign किया है, उस हिसाब से उसके मुताबिक वो काम करें. Then last step का आ जाता है definition and establishment of authority responsibility relationship. Having created managership and a human resource human organization within the enterprise, it becomes necessary to devise a system which provides for defining and establishing authority rela responsibility relationship among all personal managers and operators. As a matter of fact, such relationship must be defined and established throughout the enterprise both how horizontally and vertically. So, these are some points that we have done about organizing.